Hi everyone and welcome to Sporting Maniac. I'm your host Zane Masood and today we're going to be talking about one of the most well-renowned sports in the world and that is soccer. As you know it, any corner that you go to you're going to at least hear two or three people talking about it, especially the World Cup being right around the corner. Today is a really exciting day for me and I hope it's also for you because we have a very big guest on our show today. But before I introduce him, I just want to say that I've been trying to get a hold of this man for the longest time, and finally, finally, he has come to this, come to our show. And today, the the great thing about this is that he's gonna, you know, talk about his journey, his challenges. He's gonna talk about what's going on right now in his in his career, how what what it took to get to the point he is right now. And I hope you guys, you know, learn from from the hard work and, and the passion and dedication that he has given to the sport and how he has dedicated his life to becoming who he is today. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce our very famous guest, Sergio Sage. <laughs> it is it is incredible to have you on the show. Hey. Thank you for having me on the show, Zane. How are you doing? Everything okay? Yep, I am great. Um, so yeah, it's it, it's it's good to be on your show. Um, I've heard a lot about the show, so it, it's always good to be here. Um, and yeah. Oh yeah, well, how are things with you right now? How's everything going? Um, yeah, I'm living my best life, playing football. Um, that's what it's all about, right? Well, well, that's great. Um, I was meaning to ask you a couple of questions. Um, so the first one is. How do you feel about joining, like a world class team with legends walking the fields with you all the time now? Um, the way I feel about joining you know, a world class team is always great for me, because it's always good to play with individuals who are better than you. And the way I say it, the better you play with individuals, uh, the better you will be. Um, that's just my point of view, and so, yeah. Um. Playing with um, talented people is always better for your game to elevate your game to the next level. If you want to be the top person, you have to do the best, right? Um, that's just the way I feel, right? <laughs> oh, and you are absolutely right when it comes to that because, I mean, of course, in order to become the best, you have to play with the best, and and that type of mentality really shows how much, like how, how far you see into the future, how you're constantly trying to better yourself. It's, it's, it's great. My, my second question is, so <laughs> it's kind of a funny one, but how's it been for the Roma fans after you officially left them to head to Juventus? It's been, it's been kind of funny um, with the Roma fans. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll always um, cherish them and deep them like my actual fans. Because um, they've given me so much at that club. I've learned so much from them. Um, it's been a great pleasure playing for Roma. It's a big club. Um, it, it And it was a great opportunity to be with them, play with them, learn from uh, experienced players like Tati, uh, Jekyll, uh, Kolarov, and all these players. It's always good, right? Um, um, but yeah, some fans are always going to be better. But that's just uh, football. And to be better, you have to play with better individuals. And you're absolutely right. And, and and the best part is that about bringing people like you, you know, great players on this podcast, is that we get to understand how you guys are feeling because we know the amount of pressure fans can give the players, and especially when it comes to moving clubs. I mean, it's a big decision, and it's not a decision that just you as a player make. It's kind of you have to look at, both parties you have to look at yourself and you have to look at how the people are going to think about it but yeah that's it's 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 good the way you're coping with it um my next question is like many many other well-known players how do you cope with the pressure of constantly being surrounded by the people who are either trying to bring you down like the media and also the people spreading constant fake rumors um that one's actually a funny one because um us football players always have the pressure um, and we're always being uh, criticized by, you know, the media. The media always criticizes us and has a keen eye on what we do in our day-to-day lives, even though it has nothing to do with soccer. And uh, media plays a big role. Um, 
the way I see it, media is funny because they manipulate people into thinking what's going on. Um, and rumors of, of, of me going to Real Madrid and Barcelona will go in through as well. Um, but I made the move to stay in Italy and those rumors were false. I never wanted to go to those clubs. I wanted to stay in Italy and um, be the best as I could. Um, but, so yeah, media is just, you know, um, a, a third party who's trying to butt in into the conversation when they really don't need to. Um, and yeah, that's just the way I see it. Um, and I'm sure a lot of a lot of football players and my teammates would agree, hundred percent. Yeah, and you know, Sergio, there's this one thing that you said, and I think it's it's key and it's it's great. It's that the 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 media is constantly trying to manipulate us, and they're interfering in your lives. And even even though if it's not related to soccer, if it's just you know your day to day life or what you're doing outside of soccer but yeah it's just it's it's funny knowing how 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 others are involved in your personal life and yeah the the things that are also funny are those transfer rumors that you constantly constantly hear um especially the one that went on for months was of you trying being able to join Real Madrid and Barcelona but you know the fact that you made the decision to stay in Italy, it's, it's incredible. Um, and now my next question with you is, do you, do you really think that now you'll have to elevate the way you play the game of football? Um, I am always trying to be the best player I can be and help my team, um, win trophies, um, win period. Um, and just do my best for the club and um, country. Um, I, of course, I could be better in my mind. Um, and I, I want to be better. I want to be the best. That's always going to be the goal. Um, and there's plenty of ways of elevating my game. Um, just for me, performing every single day is just important. I'm not worried too much about the future. I'm taking it um, day by day, um, game, you know, game by game. That's just how it's going to be for a very long time for now. Yeah. Yeah, that's great to hear. Now, uh, I've got a pretty funny question. And it's that thinking back, you know, that you've played so much, how was your experience playing for Roma? And <laughs> please, Sergio, don't worry. Just be honest. <laughs> um, Roma will always be a very good part and um, a part of my life. Um, that I that I always cherish because the, the club Roma is is a great club like I said before and they've given me so much that I've learned so much from that club um, on and off the pitch the, the friends I've made um, the coach that I've had um, they've they've all taught me a lot so I'm always going to take um, the Roma experience as a positive thing and and it, and it has been a positive thing there's no other side to it. Um, um, this is this has been fun um, playing with Roma, but it's the new chapter of life. I have to move on. I have to um, do better for myself, and uh, hopefully win trophies with Juventus. Um, um, it's been good uh, making this smooth transition. Um, it's it, it's always gonna be uh, about playing for me. So a club that wants me more, and where I can showcase my talent, that's where I will be. Um, doing my best every single day. That's that's how it's gonna be. Yes, exactly. You're you're definitely right there. Now, our podcast is coming towards an end. Uh, one question, Sergio, that we get asked so much is I'm pretty sure you've heard it a, a, a billion times it's regarding the Ballon d'Or. So, this is what I'm gonna ask you, and I'm gonna be plain and simple and honest and straight up. Do you think the Ballon d'Or award for you is getting closer because of the way you're, you're scoring? I mean, if you look at your scoring sheets, I can see it happening. But do you, though? Um, the, for me, the Ballon d'Or is something I'm not worried, too worried about. Um, I care for the team and team only. Um, of course, if I get individual awards, um, I'll, be, I'll be more than happy. Um, but for now, it's it is all about the team. It's all about the uh, Serie A, Coppa Italia, 
uh, with uh, Juventus and do my best with Juventus um, and whatever bonus comes with it I'll take him with open arms um, all I know is I'm gonna work hard and do my best um, for a very long time I love to play football and that's how it's always gonna be I'm always gonna strive for to be the best um, but you know um, it's it's always good to win awards because you know um, that you've like it's worth it because you've worked hard for it and you deserve something um and um I, I, i'm here to stay i'm here to stay juventus and do my best and show and like you said about the scoring sheet i, I want to score i want to play for my team i want to take my team to the other level um and hopefully they will take me to another level as well so yeah well if there's one thing we took from that is so you're one really humble guy Sergio and it's it's great to have players like you on the pitch um it was it was great having you it was great talking to you about the future with Juventus you know winning titles and everything and I wish you the very best of luck with that and you know just you're, you're a great person on the pitch and off the pitch thank you so much for having me Zane um it's been a pleasure thank you bye bye but yeah, as for everybody else, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. We got to know a lot about Sergio Sage today, and it was just it was great having him. And next week we're probably trying to have either Cristiano Ronaldo or Sergio Ramos come on the show and talk about you know their their part in this, uh, their transfer rumors, where they're going to be heading next. So uh, this was a great this was a great podcast. I hope everyone enjoyed it, and you know hope to see you next week. Thank you very much.